Now let's talk briefly about exporting video files. So I did include one video file in our exercise files. It's this last one, it's uh, 3-1.mov. We're gonna double click to expand it. Now what we have the option of doing with this is basically, there's not too much that we can do to edit in Lightroom. What we can do is preview it and edit the in and out points, which is actually a really nice feature because say for example on this clip, I only need three seconds of that clip because it's just a little piece of B-roll. So I'm gonna select the three seconds towards the end when it's really nice and smooth. Oops, I need to move this over. We're gonna go all the way down to about here. Let's see. And let's play it to see if that's what we want. All right, cool, that's the section I want of it. So now that I'm ready to export, I'm gonna once again with the file selected, I'm gonna hit Control Shift E to bring up our export dialog box and now we're gonna have a different set of options because we're exporting video. So we can set up a preset for this, we'll do it just because we can. So let's set up a new preset. So this time we're gonna put this under a new subfolder called 03 Movie Exports. And uh, once again, I'm gonna keep all the other options just the same. With file naming, don't need it. With video, we do need this option here. So we need to choose our option. With a video format, I wanna keep it in H.264 because this is probably the most common format for video editing. Uh, and it's actually compatible automatically with like YouTube and stuff like that too. So we'll keep it in that format and we'll keep the quality as max because I want it to be the highest quality possible so I can do editing on it in another application. But I want just that little nine second piece af after I've edited the in and out point. So that's fine, we're gonna leave uh, everything else. We don't really have any other options. We're not gonna have file setting options, image sizing options, no output sharpening, nothing else. We can include metadata in the copyright uh, information, but we won't have watermarking or any additional uh, effects that we can do to it. So we will show it in uh, Explore again, because that's just something that we like to do. So let's click Add now, and we'll go LR4, and we'll say Movie. We'll hit Create, and now let's export that file. With movie files, it is gonna take quite a bit longer to export than a standard image because these are much larger files and it also has to edit the in and out points. So depending on your computer speed, that's gonna determine how fast it actually renders. So we have our finished file here in our movie exports folder under our Lightroom 4 A to Z catalog. I'm gonna load that up and we'll check out the in and out points are exactly where we set it. It's nine seconds long, just how I wanted and it's at full quality with the full resolution like we said. All right guys, so we've set up our video preset now and we've shown you guys how to export video files. Let's go on to the next tutorial.